Liam Sercombe is finally a Charm Town player. Hi guys, how's it going? And today, we are back with another video. Uh, I do have a bit of a different setup as I am on holiday. I'm actually sat out on the balcony, uh, but I'm getting this video out for, for you guys. Um, but I thought it'd be good to get it out. Um, so, uh, as all of you guys probably know, uh, today was the day that finally Liam Sercom has signed for Charlton Town. It's about time. We've been linked to him for forever, and he's a red, so. It's just, it's just great to see you ready. Um, in today's video, as normal, uh, we're just going to be going through uh, Liam's career, um, what he'll help for the team going into next season, um, and also your guys' opinions as well. Um, so if you do go on to enjoy today's video, please do smash like this, try and smash 15 likes on this video, I really appreciate that. Sorry about the audio, by the way, it might be a bit dodgy, but yeah, I'm giving it a go. Um, so yeah, feel free to subscribe if you are new, uh, and if you do enjoy the content, I'd really appreciate that. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so up until this point in Liam's career, he's played for three clubs, um, being an excellent playmaker for all of them. I'm picking up 64 goals across all of them, which is very impressive for a midfielder. Uh, at the beginning of his career, uh, and his eight years at Exeter, uh, he helped them achieve back-to-back -back promotions from National League into League One, helping them soar into League One um, and helping them hold that position for, I think it was one or two years, I'm not too sure on that one, and then them drop down back into League Two. Um, he then went on in 2015 to switch Exeter for Oxford um, and then also he helped them uh, go from League Two to League One, um, so he's definitely one for, for the promotions, you know. Um, picking up many goals and assists along the way as well obviously he then went to bristol rovers um he spent three years with them in league one and he had a brilliant career with them um nothing really too special didn't gain any promotions but he helped them stay in league one which is very impressive and he's a brilliant little player i can't wait to see him play for us um so he's going to be an excellent player for us next season um, and he looks like he's a, a sort of Jay Dorhays replacement, you know, holding midfielder, but can attack as well. You know, that's proved by 64 goals across all clubs. Um, good on the ball, good passing, uh, can hold up possession very well, strong on the ball, which is uh, what I've heard, and he looks good. Um, so, um, with the experience and desire that he has, I think... Uh, the, the, well, the desire that he has to gain promotion, really. Um, it looks like it's going to be a positive uh, positive season for him. Uh, so, yeah, it's great to see, really. Okay, so now it is time to move swiftly on to your guys' opinions uh, on the signing of Liam Sercombe on a one-year deal. Um, so, we will start off with... Uh, someone says, nothing short, brilliant. I completely agree with you there, mate. One thing I didn't say was, he's also brilliant with the ball at his feet. He's, he's very skillful with it, he can he can give the old roulette, give the old fake shot, give the old fake, um, which is great to see. He's a bundle of just every skill in one, really. He's an excellent player, and I think he's going to be brilliant for us next season. Uh, moving swiftly onwards, uh, someone else says, we'll bring an excellent presence into the midfield. Now, he is a sort of Jake Dorhays player, but, you know, he can, play, he can play anywhere on the pitch, really. So he's a defender, striker, midfielder, he scores goals, he assists them, and he's a good holding midfielder when you need to defend. He's everything I could ask for in a midfielder, and I just hope that he can do that for us. He's done it at other clubs, and I'm just really hoping that he jobs with the team. You know, he is he is starting to get old. He is, you know, in his 30s now. But I'm just, I'm just really, I, I hope the best for him, because if he if he can be consistent with it, he's going to be an excellent player, and he will help us to try and push for that promotion yet again next season. Uh, right, second last one. Someone else says, Good signing, only a one year. Now, it is only a one year. I think the reason behind it is he is 30. If he gets a bad injury, you're not going to want him. You're not going to want to give him another contract. You know, that's why we, re we released Varney. He was a brilliant player for us, but he did get injury prone and we couldn't really keep him. We had to release some players and he just had to go. He was a, he was a class player, class character, but it's fo a football's football at the end of the day. But I think that's why he's on a one year deal. 
But at the end of the day, if he's consistent and he's good and he stays fit, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna stay. He's gonna sign another contract. So I really hope so, and I really hope he's good for us uh, going into next season. Right, final one. So going out with the banks is always quite informative. That's exactly what I need on these videos. Uh, so, someone says class signing, a real statement of intent, uh, the type of player who can take us up to League One. And that's just what I just said. Literally, you know, if, he, if he's going to be good, he's going to help us in the push for League One, in the push for playoffs, maybe even automatics, hopefully. We've got the players to do it. We've got the mentality to do it. He's got a brilliant desire uh, to go up. So, I'd love to see him go up in, uh, in uh, to League One in red and white with us. That would be absolutely class. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you all for sending in your uh, your opinions on that. I really do appreciate that. I really did help the video. But as I said, thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate all the support of late. It really means the world. Uh, but yeah, have a class rest of your day. Uh, apologies if this video is a bit short. I am on holiday. I've tried to get a video out for you guys. Uh, sorry if it's not great, but I've tried my best. And uh, yeah, uh, have a class rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one.